Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome back to my channel. So I worked on Garden Prelude and I think I already had started on her skin. I think in the last video that I just uploaded, I think I just started the skin. So I just continued with that and finished one of the arms. Not fully yet because the working copy that I have just cuts off right here. So I'm going to have to decide which way to go now because I think I'm going to have to make the working copy to continue either way anyways. But I think I want to finish her arms and her face and all of the skin before moving to the other parts. So, yeah, and then I also worked on Rose Quaker and started on the second color. And this I have to focus a lot more because I can't really tell what shape this is when I'm just looking at the chart. So if I mess up one stitch, everything is going to be messed up. So I'm just taking my time with this motif, but I know this is going to be really pretty. So still really having a lot of fun with this one. And then I also finished the pink border on the pin cushion. And I really like this scalloped look. But yeah, so now I just need to fill this in. So I'm going to work on that border. But I'm going to go out in the living room and stitch because I want to watch the Grammys. Because BTS is nominated for Best Duo Group Performance, I think. So I'm going to watch that while I stitch. So I just started stitching and noticed something that was kind of weird and then I figured out that I messed up this whole border. So I'll point it out with my needle here. So I started this border from this point here and I started like a half stitch over to the left where I was supposed to start. So this whole border is not in the correct place and to be honest it doesn't really bother me that much. So maybe I'll just leave it and continue, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to think about it a little bit. So I just decided to rip that border out because it didn't really bother me now, but I think it would later. And I thought the ripping it out wasn't going to take that much time anyways. So I just ripped it out and it was pretty quick, but I need to redo that. So yeah, and then I also want to share a little tip when stitching on a design like this where it's like, a mandala type design where all four designs or all four sides are the same so i usually mark the top with a thread like this so i know where the top is so when i stitch all of my stitches will be stitched with the same cross stitches um with the same leg on top of the cross stitch but if i didn't have this sometimes i make mistakes and later i find my stitches with the other leg on top and it doesn't look right at the end so yeah that was my little tip so yeah, I think I'm going to stitch the white border first before doing the pink one. So just a quick little update. Um, I'm still watching the Grammys, but yeah, BTS didn't win, but they are performing. And of course they're at the very end of the show. So I'm going to take a break and have some breakfast and continue stitching. So it's later in the evening and I just finished the border and it looks really good and I'm really happy that I decided to rip that pink border out. So now I only have, I don't know, three borders. So I think I can finish this by this weekend, but I might have to move this to a bigger hoop to stitch that. But right now I feel like stitching Garden Prelude. So I think I'm going to work on this a little bit before working on that border. So. 
Yeah, I'm going to work on her skin, but I'm really tempted to stitch her hair that's on this side of the chart. Um, it starts from here going this way, but I think I'll save that for later. So last night I stitched Rose Quaker and it's really, it's already really pretty. Um, this is my favorite motif out of the whole design. So yeah, super pretty. And I was actually trying to finish this motif, but I'm just really enjoying the process. So I don't mind it taking a little bit of time. So yeah, super pretty. And then I worked on Garden Prelude and finished her face. Um, and I still haven't ordered the DMCs for this yet, so yeah, I couldn't stitch some of the areas on her skin, but tonight I'm going to finish her arms. And there was one blend in her skin, and I wasn't sure which color to have on top of the cross stitch, because this is a 40 count fabric, and I'm stitching one over two, so that means I'm stitching with one thread. So a subscriber taught me this, and it's one of my favorite tips on stitching on 40 counts. So if there's a blend when you're stitching on a 40 count, you do a half stitch with one of the colors and then do the other half stitch to finish the cross stitch with the second color. Um, I'm not sure if I made sense there, but when you do that, the color of the cross stitch depends on, or I should say the shade of the cross stitch depends on which color is on top. And with this, it was there to create a nice gradient to the skin. So I didn't want it that blended color to stand out and just blend right in with the other cross stitches. So I did all of the other um, single colored cross stitches first, and then I did the blend at the very end. And then by comparing the colors around it, I decided that the darker color should be the first leg of the cross stitch so that it doesn't clash with the brighter colors around it. And that created a nice metal shade for the skin. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, I think it looks really good. And I don't think at all um, it, I don't think it's noticeable at all. So, yeah, and then I didn't stitch any more on the pen cushion, so it's exactly the same as yesterday, but I just wanted to show it better, or show it in a better lighting. But I almost feel like I could end this here, but I really like the green border, so I'm just going to do all of the borders. So I'm just working on ripping this out because I messed up. So I already had stitches up to her hands but I had to rip those out but yeah I'm just glad that I didn't get too far with it and found out that I messed up right now but I think I added another row here I got confused because this is where the chart splits and I know I'm showing a little portion of the chart but it's just a little portion of it so I think it should be fine but I counted the stitches wrong where the chart overlaps so yeah I'm just working on pulling these out and I have to restitch that. So I think I finally fixed it and it took several tries because I don't know why, but I ended up stitching the same amount again, doing the same thing. So I had to restart it again, but now I think I finally got it. So. Yeah, but I did take a break and worked on the pin cushion because I was a little frustrated with myself and I stitched this without the hoop because this was too small and I didn't have a middle size hoop so I just stitched in hand and this is how I used to stitch before using q-snaps or hoops or anything so yeah I think I'll just finish this by stitching in hand um, it's not taking a lot longer than having a hoop or anything so it doesn't really matter so yeah, but yeah, so now I'm going to get back to Garden Prelude and finish her arms. So I did something stupid. I just finished um, stitching this color and I just realized that I stitched with two strands. I was supposed to do it just one, so it's a lot bulkier and I don't know what's wrong with me today. So yeah, I'm just going to have to redo this again. So it's the next morning and here's the pin cushion. Um, oh, this way because of this here but I didn't stitch since I last updated you on this but I think this is perfect for this season so I'm really liking this one right now and then I was struggling last night because I was making all kinds of mistakes but I finally finished her arms and started on her hair 
I was contemplating whether or not to do her hair with DMC or Anchor, but I just ended up doing it with, uh, with regular DMC 310. And I think the coverage could be better, but it's not that bad, so I'm just keeping it. And I did work on this all day yesterday, but because I was making all the mistakes and fixing it and making another mistake, um, so I didn't really get that much done. And then I didn't even get to work on Rose Quaker, so this is still the same, but I want to get the two motifs done soon so that I can work on the um, house designs, the two of the houses that I have, the pink house and the blue manor, because I planned those out for March. So yeah, after I finish the two motifs, um, I want to at least work on the houses for a week before April because I have other projects that I want to work on next month. So yesterday I finished and got to the top of her hair and that's all I did on this one, but I think she looks really pretty already. So I'm going to continue with her hair and the ribbon in her hair, but I think that's where most of the DMCs that I don't have are called for. So if there's too much of it, I'll just move over to the violin and work on that. And I had some work stuff to do, so I didn't get to stitch all that much. And I think I won't be able to stitch at all today because I have some other work things that I need to get done. But I did start it on the second border from the last. And it's these tiny leaves and I think it's super cute. So I'm going to finish this border tonight with the other lighter green color if I could. Um, and I think that'll be pretty easy to work on in between my breaks. So I'm taking a break and going to stitch a little bit and I thought I would show you how I stitch in hand and I find it easier to hold my work rolled up like this. So I'm just going to roll it up and hold it with my left hand and stitch with my right. And sometimes I stitch like this moving my right hand to the front of the piece and pulling the needle out from the back. So moving back and forth. But I also like to stitch without having to get behind the work. So just working from the front of the piece. So I take my needle and go through the fabric and skip the step of pulling my needle out to the back. So essentially I'm doing two stitches with one pull of the needle. And I stitch a lot faster this way but sometimes I can tell my stitches are not as even. So to make your stitches even, I know there's a way to do that but I don't do that anyways when I stitch. So I end up mixing the two methods depending on where I'm stitching and which way I'm moving my needle to, if that made any sense.
So I just got back from a local cross-stitch store and I got the DMCs that I didn't have for Garden Prelude and also for my Knitting Angel. So these are the colors and I actually didn't have to get all eight of them but I thought I might as well um, for future projects maybe. And this is for the Knitting Angel. So I'm going to bobbinate these later tonight so I can work on Garden Prelude. And I stitch a lot more than I thought I was going to last night and finish the pink scalloped border. So I'm very close to finishing this. And I think I want to start another piece in this format. So I have this one that I finished last month. And it's a little smaller than the pin cushion, but I thought it would be nice to have a third one like this and FFO them together. So I'm going to see if I can find another one like this, a square design that's about the same size. But... Yeah, so I didn't film anything at the local needlework store because I didn't really like the lady. Um, she had some mirabilias and I was going to buy them, but she was going to, um, well, okay, so it was weird because she asked me how much I pay for these charts and saying things like, um, aren't these really expensive and something along those lines. So um, I thought that was kind of weird asking me how much I pay for them. But I said 24,001 because I got confused with something else because it's usually about 17,001 and I realized that I was wrong in the middle of our conversation but I didn't correct myself but it is about 17,001 in other websites so that's about $15 US dollars right and Mirabilia's are about that much I think um I think 123 stitch have them for $13.50 or something like that but yeah, so anyways, and then I found a couple of mirrors that I, I was interested in buying. So I said, can I have this one? And this one, I was just picking things out and she gave me, she gave them to me, but it was already open and it was in a real bad condition. Like it was torn and it was ripped in some places. Um, I didn't see any highlighted um, charts, but it was folded in all kinds of different ways, but yeah, and then she she said um, she'll give me a used price. That means a discounted price for them. So I said, okay. Um, and I asked her how much. And she goes 18001 which is more than the newer ones on, on the other websites. So I just said, no thanks. And just got the DMCs and left. And when I got home, I realized that she charged me more for the DMCs as well. So yeah, I don't think I'll be going there anymore. But yeah, it was so disappointing because it was the only cross-stitch store that I could visit. And I've been there once before and got a Mirabilia. And I remember that mirror was a opened and used one as well. And I can't remember which one that was. But it was in a okay condition, so I didn't really mind paying the full price for it. Um, oh yeah, it was Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I was okay with it because it was a really hard chart to find. Um, but yeah, kind of disappointing.
just finished the bee pin cushion and it's super cute. Um, this was so much fun to work on. I wish there was another one like this but with a different insect. I think that would be really cool. But I was thinking about stitching some beads in this empty spaces but I kind of like the negative space like lace. It looks like lace to me. So I think I want to keep it this way. But yeah, I think I want to iron this right now and put it with my other finishes. So yeah, super happy with this finish. And I'm going to go through my stash again to find something similar to this to start it next week. I'm going to start working on Rose Quaker now and hopefully finish this motif by tonight. I think I could do it. And I think I only have a couple of leaves to stitch. So yeah, I think it's pretty doable. And I just ironed my new finish and it looks really pretty. Um, and I didn't find anything yet for my next start, but I'm going to keep looking. But if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. But you're yeah, really happy with this finish. So I'm going to start working on this now and maybe get to the second one. So I finally got this done and it's super pretty. It's my absolute favorite. And I think it's because of the leaves. Um, it looks kind of spiky. It almost resembles peacock feathers, doesn't it? So yeah, I think it's really pretty. So now I think I'll work on the next motif. That's right next, wait a minute. I forgot to fill in these roses here. Okay, so I'm going to do that first, but after that I'll work on the next design. But I completely forgot about those. But I feel like I could turn all of these motifs to individual ornaments because I really like roses. So if you don't want to work on the whole thing, you can just pick and choose a couple of the motifs and turn them into cute ornaments. I think that'll look really pretty as well. So now this is finished finally and it only took about five minutes I think. But yeah, so super pretty. And I think instead of working on the next motif, I think I'll bobbinate these now. Um, I'll probably bobbinate a couple of these right now just to work on um, Garden Prelude. And I think I need, I think it's this one that I need to finish the skin. So yeah, I'm going to start with this one. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here, but I do have a question for you. I was wondering what projects do you like seeing more in my videos? I think it's between the Mirabilias and the Perforated Paper projects. So let me know which one you prefer seeing because I stitch a lot of things all at once and sometimes I show you one thing more than the other and I want to make sure that I'm showing you more of what you want to see in my videos. So yeah, and I'm also working on the knitting video but I stitch more than I knit so I didn't have that much to update you in my knitting. But yeah, that video is coming soon. So yeah, I guess that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!